framework as a possible calming technique. Uh, my feeling and, and understanding is we've gone about this backwards from the get-go, from the time that it, it got into your hands to, to conduct the study. That's when Mr. Foti's suggestion of a um, professional would have been in, called in. But we all, I think, in this room have as much information about the different traffic calming ideas. The way they implement them is they add one, did it work? No, let's add a second, let's add a third. That's what the engineers are going to tell you is they just keep adding them until they solve the problem. So given what we want or what's been suggested, let's at least get a plan into place that we don't have to take that long to if the exclusion is denied. Thank you. Can I ask a quick question? Just a Mr. Chen, I just want to let you know that the original motion made by Mr. O'Leary and seconded by Mr. Masiri did not include the alternate route, so I think we have to revoke that. We're not going to have an alternate route. We only have one option for a route. Oh, right. I thought you wanted to include it. Yeah, we, we talked about it, but we didn't go forward with it because. Okay. The question okay. on. They've got a state It's got to state, state it. You guys vote on a route. Suggest a route. Okay. So. Chairman, I have a second motion. I move that the uh, alternative route to be presented by the administration be uh, the Route 62 Haverhill Street alternative. Second, <coughs> High School. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chief Yavis. Can I ask my question, Chris? Related to continuing our plans in the event we get denied the truck exclusion, do, can we use? Those chapter 90 funds to actually hire an outside consultant? Yes. Okay. okay. But I agree with Mr. Lab. I think we need to move forward. Yeah. You get tomorrow. some signage in the crosswalks to slow the people down so people can. We're going to ask you, I've recognized everyone. Yeah. I ask you not to speak out. Raise your hand. You've got a over there, so I mean, come on. I think he has pretty much leave of the floor, I would call it. I mean, he's our expert, our DPW director. I think I've been pretty accommodating. We've gone almost two hours. I know you're frustrated. All I ask, raise your hand. I acknowledge you. Come up to the podium. That's all. So if you want to come up, you can speak. And you, you cut someone off. I don't think anyone's cut anyone off. Right. No, you, you can speak. Go ahead. I mean, it's, it's just gone all over anyways, but can we at least get some signs in the crosswalks so when we try to cross to get to the parks, the cars stop? That's all I asked. I, I put this in the emails. Nobody's responded. I've asked the DPW director before. The safety officer has never called me back about it. It's just a concern because I go to the park with my kid a lot. I also have a grandfather that tries to cross the road in a scooter, and cars don't stop. They don't slow down. If we had some kind of form of sign in the middle of the crosswalk, maybe they would <coughs> stop in the future. I don't know where that goes. Does that go police or does that go DPW? Is there a combination of two? Dick, can we address? Signs? Instead of the, instead of the barrel, instead stop of the barrel, what about the one skinny skin. reflective ones that yeah, say? Stop. You can even put signs. Yeah, yeah. 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 They drive over. Did you? They drove by. Yeah. yeah. But there are signage, you know, the crosswalk here with the arrow down. Yeah. There. They were signage to. It's permanent signage too. Right, but the only one I I may be incorrect, but the only one I saw like that in that area was in front of. Mrs. Mr. Foss's house, I think, as you're coming from New Street down Chestnut. Right. So we could enhance all the crosswalks. But I think a resident bought that one, right? I don't think we put that one in. But I'm saying that's the only way, so I think it's a legitimate issue if we can address it. Yeah, we appreciate it. Please. Okay. Thank you all for, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Just a really quick, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> uh, Kim Smith, 151 Chestnut. Absolutely through no fault of anyone, everyone has been trying to contact everyone else, but sometimes things happen. You know, and I just, as this goes forward, whether we hear back the exclusion's approved, the exclusion's not approved, issues have come up, or wait, we've, we've heard from somebody, we've used some funds, we've got a great new idea. What, I mean, obviously I read the transcript, I have to admit, sometimes I skim it more than I read it, but you know, I certainly get it. I have to say I very seldom read the selectman minutes, sorry. <laughs> we need no more, you know, so disappointed. we need more yes. balloons, or that's it, now I'm in trouble. Uh, what is the I'll best go. way for us not to take our eye off the ball? I'll 
I'll take responsibility in notifying the whole neighborhood once we have an answer from town administrator, DPW director. Oh, a wiki. I think I'm That's on that it. Email How about list. a wiki? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. A lot of people in town know on the email list now. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, we're going to move on uh, to item eight on the agenda. Everybody calm down now. Oh, that was excellent. Didn't you hear there's, there's beer and wine over at Great American Tavern? <laughs> 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 In the outside, the outside deck. The band will be playing too. We're still live, everyone. Can I make a motion? Yeah. You guys later. Yeah. See you, Chief. Take care. Yeah. Right. Um, item eight. Reappointment to Copeland and Page. Um, Mr. Valiconis, do you want to? Yes, board members. Uh, typically, the board reappoints council <clears throat> on an annual fiscal year basis, July one to June thirtieth. Copeland and Page has served as town council for a number of years. Um, it's not required that we put this contract out to bid on an annual basis. As a matter of fact. They've been with us a number of years. However, um, the board did a year ago ask us to, uh, to investigate that. I have some sample requests for proposals if the board decides it wishes to go in that direction. Board members? I have no desire to solicit another bid at this particular point in time. They haven't raised their rates in years. Uh, we've actually been able to curtail uh, a little, little activity. I think they've done an excellent job of representing us. Um, we cut our budget. I think we're well served. Uh, what are we at? $125 an hour? Yes. Uh, there it's was been a time when I had raised the issue. It goes back to the happenings around the Eisenhower Law and what I thought was uh, poor advice uh, that came, or a lack of communication. I'm not sure. But I think those issues have been resolved. And I've been quite happy with the, the performance and the response. And and I think it's the credit to the town administrator and the entire board that we've managed to lower our costs. So I, I am in support of uh, reappointing. I'm in support of reappointing. I raised the issue, I think, last year about opening it up. Um, not that I'm disappointed in the representation that they've given to us. I just think it's good business practice. Instead of just re-upping the same firm year after year, which is good business practice on a periodic basis, to open it up, see what else is out there. Um, that's why I had raised it a year ago. I'm fine voting in favor of reappointing Copeland Page for this year, but I would hope that next year we would consider uh, the first of the calendar year to, to open it up and see what else is out there. Uh, Mr. Prisco. Yeah, I'm really disappointed that it, uh, that we're not going to go through what you said. We spent. Well, I thought a considerable amount of time last year having this discussion. And I, I was in support of what you were saying. You know, it should be a practice. Matter of fact, after the fact, we should have even done the same thing with our trash. Um, you know, every time we have an opportunity to get bids, we should get bids uh, to verify what we think. In this case, I'm not in favor of just reappointing anybody. I think we have to get a re. I, this is a great. We all had a year. Well, had a year to kind of think about this. I don't know why it's so it's such a big deal to just go out and get the bids. Um, I, I think waiting another year is a waste. I, I really want the board to reconsider and just get the bids. Why not? What does it hurt? It can't be a, a very difficult RFP to put together. It's not. If you're unsatisfied, then then it's not about unsatisfied. Point important for a temporary period, say 120 days or 90 days. And put the thing out to bid and we'll put it. It isn't about being unsatisfied, Mr. Valaconis. It's about making sure we do our due diligence to make sure we're getting the best deal for the taxpayers and for legal. It's, it's expertise it's, it's and professional. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, no, it's the boards. To say, I mean, you, you just seem to be direct. It's fine. First. But it's us. It's that. Bob first. I, this is one of the few appointments we make. Well, and I, I'm not going to vote in favor of reappointing them based on we not, we're not doing our responsibility to verify that we're getting the best deal. Because I have to say, I, I'm not overly happy. I've only been here two years, but what I've seen before I got here with some of the decisions that have been made and some of the counsel we've had, I'm not saying I'm 100% satisfied, but I'm not saying I'm super dissatisfied either. This is more about making sure financially we're making the right decision. This is the right firm for the money we're paying. I would just like to remind the board that uh, in the process of changing town council, we're going to incur a significant cost of getting another council up to speed on the open uh, litigation, getting them up to speed on the community. And I think that uh, one of the advantages that, and, and why they've been successful with so many communities is that they have a wide variety of staff that covers the entire scope of what a municipality has to do. So I, I think that uh, unless we're unhappy with their performance, there's no real need to go and to the outside because it'll cost us more, at least initially, in the process of making the transfer. Mr. Pope? I just have three quick questions only because, again, I'm the new guy. How, how, long, is, how long have we been retained, Copeland Page? Do you know? Uh, that long. 20 years. Okay. What are we currently paying for? 125 million. It's what been, we been like that for at least a dozen years, 10 years more. And what do we typically spend a year? 100,000, 107,000. Our costs are actually going down. We used the budget 125. 120. Right. This year we cut the budget down further. Any further discussion? No, just to. Uh, just to um, concur with uh, Mr. Masseri. You know, they, they represent like 130 communities or something, and uh, that keeps the cost down when you have a, a council that represents a number of communities so that uh, they don't have to do a lot of research. They don't have to do a lot of uh, digging and finding out, you know, case law or situation things because they represent so many communities that they already have the knowledge base there, which again keeps everybody's cost down. I think that's probably one of the major factors that so many communities stay with them is that they're able to keep the cost down because they represent so many communities they already have the in-house expertise and, and knowledge at hand that keeps everybody's cost down. So I, I don't find the need yet. And I, I don't necessarily just read totally as far as, you know, shopping it once in a while to make sure we get good bang for our buck. But we've got a, a pretty good deal as far as the rate and a very good deal as far as in relation to the, uh, the firm itself and whatever communities they represent and what they bring to the table. So I'm pretty satisfied. I'm not always happy with what lawyers have to say, Sean, but you know, they're a shocker. It's shocker. Yeah. Okay. 125 so bad deal. Yeah. I'm not saying but that it is. That's Mr. Prisco? No, but you, I think you also have to look at some of the counsel that we have received and how that counsel has made cost us on the other side of things. I haven't heard in, you know, that discussion yet. But, you know, over the last 20 years, we've there's been some <coughs> things in this town that's cost us a significant amount of money, and maybe... Maybe we have to look at that. And if you look at those cases, most of those ones that have cost us the most money we were represented by the insurance <coughs> council, not our own council. Because we've been the subject of suit, goes to insurance council, and there, mm -hmm. bottom line is saving the insurance company the most amount of money. So, so Eisenhower Fund, was that associated with insurance? That, that one? No. Okay. Put that one there. I mean, just putting out an example. You, know, you guys may say we only pay, I only spent $125,000, but you know, it also cost us millions of dollars. And I'm only using one example. I'm not getting into a bashing of them. I just want to say. There was one, there was one issue that, that specifically they, they should have had the information. It's clear that everyone had the information several years before related to the taking of one piece of property that was under receivership and therefore it was illegal to take and it cost us some money to I'm just saying I, I'm not going to vote in favor of this. I really think we should I hear you. get the get the quotes in to, to verify. That's mm -hmm. it's a good yeah. practice. I agree with you. Mr. The only thing I'll say about quotes, quotes will necessarily will tell you the the experience or the ability of that company yeah. will just tell you who's I the don't best disagree. Price. Best value is something we have to, but if we don't have anything to base it on. Yeah. Okay. 
Stay sick further.